Look at mom's new hair. Do you like it? Go to the side. It's still like really long. She cut it. We're gonna chop it up. She added layers. <laughs> Okay guys, so, Jesus, it's so shitty out. We are heading over to the martial arts studio and we're gonna learn um, some self-defense so I can get some really good footage for you guys. Okay, I'll see ya in like five minutes. This one, slap his face, get up, right? Does the slap hurt? No, but I have punched people in the face and I have practiced slapping people in the face you get getting choked on the ground and you slap them, boop, they let go. out of West Hollywood, Rhode Island, right across from the Malt of Barley. Uh, my name is Tanya Lavender, and I'm the head instructor here. I teach Krav Maga self-defense, and that's a portion of what you guys will be seeing that we did tonight. It's awesome. Krav Maga Alliance, John mm -hmm. Whitman, and I'm also a fourth degree black belt in Muay Thai kickboxing. That's what I wanted. <laughs> um, I've been training now for this is my 16th year. Awesome. Started off with self defense and worked my way into Muay Thai, which I fell in love with, and then worked my way back to Krav Maga. Which is awesome. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for having us. Yes, it was amazing. I appreciate you guys coming. Thank you. My coach actually did cut me a little bit for my macros and increased my cardio a little bit. So, which. I was a little discouraged yesterday. I just kind of got into my head a little bit. But anyways, that's kind of led me to this vlog idea. I want to go over for all of you the three different body types. We have ectomorph, endomorph, and mesomorph. Within these three weeks of prep, I've lost one pound. So I am considered a mesomorph. So mesomorphs are quote unquote referred to as your easy gainers. Training recommendation that I would give to my fellow mesomorphs are train heavy with minimum rest in between your sets and then include cardio at least three to four times a week, that moderate state cardio. So ectomorph, you're gonna be more of a lightly muscled appearance, um, difficulty gaining muscle, but on the flip side, you don't need to be in a heavily caloric deficit to maintain low body fat, so it's pretty easy for you to maintain uh, low body fat. Um, you're gonna have a more of a fast and effective metabolism. I would recommend track your food, and if you're really looking to gain muscle and it's difficult for you to gain muscle, the only way you're truly gonna be able to get the results that you want is being on a caloric surplus. So find out what your maintenance calories are, and then start tracking your food, get on a regimented program, be consistent. You know, everything just comes down to consistency. So that is your ectomorph. So your endomorphs are going to be a quote unquote um, smooth and round body type. You lose weight typically slowly. Um, you have a slow metabolic rate. I would generally recommend performing eight exercises for each body part. 
For your nutrition wise, I would recommend doing a higher protein, higher fat, lower carb intake. So just be moderate of that carb intake for your endomorphs. Your rep range, I would keep it high. So I would go anywhere between 10 to 15 for those for that rep count, Amber's calling me. And then as far as cardio goes, I would mix up steady state cardio as well as that higher intensity cardio. Hopefully you can see the difference between your ectomorph, your mesomorph, and your endomorph. And I am gonna have Amber insert a clip somewhere around here and it's from bodybuilding.com and you can take a test that shows which body type you are.